It's Monday, and that means it's time for another Spotlight video. Today we look at a dual purpose breed of chicken with an exceptionally long lifespan. I'm Brian from the Hobby Farm Guys, and we do this kind of thing every week. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out learning about different breeds of chickens and goats and turkeys and pigs and ducks. And, well, you get the point. In just a moment, the Icelandic chicken. It's time to feature the Islenska Lantamsainen, also known as Hui Heintzni. Now, if you speak Icelandic, you're probably wondering what I said, because I don't speak Icelandic, and I probably just butchered that pronunciation. But if you don't speak the language, I can tell you that I said Icelandic settlement hen, a.k.a. pile chicken, and you won't know the difference. Throughout most of the English-speaking world, though, people simply refer to it as the Icelandic chicken. Now, if you've been to Iceland or seen pictures, you probably agree it's an incredibly beautiful place, but also a very rugged place. And if you're going to raise chickens there, they've got to be tough. Luckily, they've been on the island since the 9th century when Norse Vikings established them in their settlements there. Being a land race breed, they have evolved to adapt to the conditions of their environment, which has created a very hardy breed. Like many land race breeds, there are very diverse genetics within flocks. As a result, there is no standard of perfection and the breed can be found in four different genetic lines with various plumage colors, patterns, and comb types. Some individuals even have feather crests. In 2001, a biodiversity study was conducted on Icelandic chickens, which showed their ancestors probably originated in the Middle East. Now, when I say they're a dual-purpose breed, I don't mean in the modern sense. They do produce a tasty but rather small carcass. Adult Icelandic roosters weigh an average of 4.5 to 5 pounds at maturity, while hens are about 3 to 3.5 pounds. And when it comes to eggs, each hen will lay about 180 ivory-colored eggs per year. It also helps that there's little decline in eggs through the winter, and an average egg size of 1.75 ounces is a pretty good one for a land-raised hen. And they start laying at about four and a half months. The Icelandic chicken can certainly be called a low-maintenance breed. They're great foragers and can find much of their diet this way. It should come as no surprise that they're cold-hardy, but they can also thrive in more temperate climates. They can be very predator-aware, although they aren't immune to predation, so make sure they have secure housing. They're also quite healthy, not being prone to disease as easily as some breeds. For centuries, the Icelandic breed of chicken was the only breed on the islands. In the early 1900s, more commercial breeds were imported to Iceland, and many of the native birds were crossbred with these newer arrivals. This interbreeding jeopardized the genetics of Icelandic chickens, and today they're considered a threatened breed. So it's highly recommended that if you keep Icelandics, you should only allow them to breed with other Icelandics to help preserve them. The good news is that breeding them is rather easy. Hens will gladly sit a clutch of eggs from her flock and make an excellent mother to the chicks that hatch. Yet another example of them being low maintenance. But not everything is easy with the Icelandic chicken. Having developed as semi-wild chickens, they can be difficult to contain. A secure coop has already been mentioned, but a large enclosed run is also recommended. Icelandic chickens are pretty good flyers and can clear high fences. And they'll fly up and roost as high as they can get. So sometimes they'll stay in trees rather than go into the coop at night like most chickens. When it comes to temperament, you may expect them to be rather flighty. They can be, but most are rather calm. If raised from chicks and used to having humans around, they can even be quite friendly. Roosters are sometimes aggressive, but if they're raised together and have plenty of space, they'll get along with other roosters. This breed is quite chatty, and even more so if they're socialized. Before I finish, there's one more important thing to cover. At the top of the video, I mentioned the Icelandic breed is exceptionally long-lived. And it's true, they can live for around 15 years well beyond the typical chicken breed lifespan. So that's the Icelandic chicken. 
a low maintenance Norse land race breed that has many qualities that make it easy to like. And if you like this video, please let us know that by clicking that thumbs up. It really helps us to be able to make these videos and it's so easy. In fact, you can finish before I say thanks for watching and happy hobby farming everyone.